Uh, hey everyone, Chabik here, VP of Product at Scale. Hello, Christine Perry, VP of Solution Engineering at Scale. Um, Christine and I wanted to make a short video to explain some updates. I uh, know, you know a lot of the community has been waiting for, uh, for updates from uh, Scale Network. Um, so as some of you may or may not know, um, scale, chain, uh, scale Chains are live on mainnet. Uh, multiple Scale Chains are live on mainnet. Uh, and the core team has been working around the clock, performance testing, uh, getting insights uh, and, and playing and demonstrating deployments and gameplay and contract use uh, on these mainnet skill chains. Um, so we wanted to create a short little video as an update and Christine has been working with some uh, really cool stuff, I'm really excited uh, about what she's been working on, um, you know, for the first and only Ethereum native multi-chain network. Uh, but let me hand it over to Christine, who will go into some cool details. All right, thanks, Chadwick. So I'm going to share my screen and hop right into it, because what um, Chadwick is referring to is a game that we've developed to help us test out functionality on the scale chains that are on mainnet. And that game is called Scale Match. So we can't wait to share the URL of the community, but in the meantime, that would be great to show you a sneak peek of what it looks like. And the whole idea behind the game is actually really simple. You come to the website, and the goal is for you to match tokens. So if you find a matching pair, you're then able to keep that token within your scale chain wallet that will be connected to um, via MetaMask. And from there, if you wanna see the tokens that you currently have available, they'll always appear here on the main page of the new token mented. For any gameplay that's happening by you or anyone else in the community or at the scale um, team as well, um, you'll see the scale chain activity appear here for every time a token is minted. What's great is that the token stats page, if you click over to here, is utilizing the graph network. So we're able to squeeze in um, a great partnership integration here as well, where we're using the graph to be able to pull data directly from the scale chain, which will show you how many tokens are minted for each one of the 35 tokens that we are gonna um, release in the beginning of the game, um, what's available, and how many total of each token. Right now, they're kind of all set at the same around 500, but we might decide to change that and only offer 10 for some really select or unique tokens that are created by the community. I do want to give a brief shout out here because one of the things you'll notice if you're part of our Telegram group is that some of these tokens were submitted to us directly by um, community um, ambassadors. And they gave us their stickers. That way we can create tokens um, of them and add them directly to um, the scale chain smart contract. So again, thanks to the community for being involved in making this game a reality. The last thing I'll um, say before um, kind of playing the game here is that one thing that's great about the Scale Network is that it's Ethereum blockchain native, which means that this game can run directly on Ethereum or it can run directly on Scale. And what we're here to show you is what the difference is running it on Scale because on Scale, you won't have to necessarily pay for any transaction that's hitting the scale chain because we have a gas-free environment. What's also great there is that the transaction is gonna happen in pretty much like sub-second block times. And what that means for you is that every time you find a match, you'll be able to have the token directly in your wallet and you'll be able to continue to play the game as if you're playing a regular web 2.0 application today. <laughs> so let me go ahead and um, clear out MetaMask so we can start from the beginning. So I'll cancel this and refresh the screen. So the first thing that happens when you come to this page is that you'll be presented with the opportunity to switch to the scale network that's running on mainnet. And now what's great here is that you don't have to enter in any of the details. Instead, that's all handled for you directly through a MetaMask integration that was recently um, deployed a few months ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and prove that and switch networks. One thing you always wanna make sure to do before you dive in and play the game and start making matches is that MetaMask is fully connected. MetaMask added this as a security feature where they really, really wanna make sure that you are sure that you wanna to connect to the website that you're playing. And so if you see this not lit up green, you wanna make sure to fully connect to the scale chain. Once it's green, you can go ahead and play the game. So I'll refresh again, just to make sure all the wires are connected here. And let's start playing. Now, we made this difficult by design. There's 35 tokens here. So I'm definitely going to need Chadwick's um, help on spotting the ones that I missed here so we can find a match quickly and show you how fast it is running on the scale network. 
So, see anything, Chadwick? Um, Wait, uh, I think uh, we're yeah. going back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there so you go. that one and that one. Perfect. Yeah. Match found, great, it's in our wallet. So again, you'll be able to see all the tokens that you're able to keep here if they're available again. Um, and then you'll be able to see any chain activity that's um, created by you or anyone else playing the game. So right now we're just playing against ourselves. So there's not a lot of activity going, but once this is released to the community, we hope the rest of you will play along with us. And we'll have a lot of activity showing here as people are finding tokens and keeping them within their um, wallets and MetaMask. So that's the demo. Awesome, thanks, Christine. Yeah, the core team has been really excited playing with this demo. And again, the core team has been testing this in a live environment on mainnet um, because you know you you don't learn enough unless it's, you're actually in production. Um, so already we've gotten some really cool ideas, and again, it's just juicing the core team's ideas. And um, uh, we, we've decided to uh, hold off on the game for a little bit because there's a couple other performance improvements and tweaks that we can do to make things even better than basically what Christine has already demonstrated for you. Um, so some of these is just improving memory handling and improving the performance over, you know, over, over, over the time that you're running the game. Um, and we can actually improve the performance of like the speed of the transactions itself. So uh, we figured if we could just dial in a few more days to add some tweaks, um, that would be really great before releasing it to the public. Um, in addition, we didn't stop there. We also thought about um, really cool ideas about um, balancing the requests or, or the messaging between each of the 16 endpoints of your skill chain. And just a reminder, a skill chain is not one node. A skill chain is 16, a set of 16 randomly chosen nodes out of the network um, that then perform and act together in concert to form your skill chain. So as a DAP developer, you have 16 endpoints or as a client, 16 endpoints to interact with. Um, so the core team's already uh, put to work on a reverse proxy or like a load balancer um, so that it's easier for DAP developers to choose what might be the most performant endpoint out of the 16 and basically um, be able to manage 16 endpoints from one. Um, and in addition to this, uh, we actually have a few partnerships that we're in early discussions with. So we might be able to announce some things about this in the next few weeks. Um, and it doesn't stop there, uh, you know, as Christine and I mentioned before, Scale Network is an Ethereum native multi-chain network. Being Ethereum native, um, you know, being on a scale chain, it's, it's basically the same as you would interact with on Ethereum. Um, and to create that interactivity between a scale chain and Ethereum, uh, the scale network has what's called the, the bridge, the scale Ethereum bridge called the Interchain Messaging Agent. And this is coming out in the next few weeks. We're very excited about it. We've been heads down, just working out a lot of things uh, with, the, with the bridge. And so uh, it leverages BLS threshold cryptography and SGX secure enclave technology to provide security and transaction signing between the 16 endpoints of your skill chain and Ethereum mainnet. Um, so the core team is really excited about this and it's gonna be great. It's like out of the box, it supports ETH, of course, uh, ERC-20, ERC-721, ERC-1155, and it can support any arbitrary contract using what's called message proxy. And hey, it doesn't stop there. Uh, there's another feature which is not seen anywhere else. Um, you know, on a scale chain, um, the you know, dev developers, you have access to uh, file storage, which is a, a unique storage uh, a file system on each node of each scale endpoint where as a developer, you can upload files uh, onto uh, using a uh, scale chain. And uh, we've added, this core team has added another feature where uh, each node of the scale endpoint is running an Nginx web server, which can serve this file as a read-only fashion to um, like just as a URL. Um, so this will help really support NFTs, like any of that metadata files that's linked in the NFT. Uh, you can you can serve through this Nginx server. So we're really excited about that. That's also coming down the pipe as well. And that's going to be uh, supporting the scale uh, Ethereum bridge called IMA. And yeah, a lot of stuff. So again, uh, thank you all for being patient. We want, you know, we, we've learned so much from doing open development uh, on this mainnet scale chain. So we wanted to just get the feedback from Christine's app and then just dial in a couple more tweaks. Awesome. 
Thanks, Chadwick. Um, just to add, you know, a few notes from the DAP developer community as well. I'd say, you know, the SE and product team has also been really busy just coordinating and tag teaming and getting a lot of feedback from DAP developers. So we're not just building these products because we think that they will be good. We're building it because DAP developers are telling us it's what they need. And I think that that's um, a different way of going about, you know, building a solution um, in this space. Because with the IMA bridge changes that Chadwick mentioned, that load balancer to really streamline onboarding for dApps, and this really game changer um, situation with file storage with NGNX, which allows us to really make NFTs um, more stronger without having to deal with any weak links out there, I think is going to be um, great for the community at large. And so DAP developers are definitely very excited, and we can't wait to um, you know, provide another update to the community in the coming weeks. So. It's awesome. Yeah. Th thanks everyone for being patient. We know the community has been like waiting for updates. Um, again, the, the core team's been working around the clock, not just on tweaking and getting performance updates from these live mainnet skill chains, uh, but also working with our huge validator community. So we're working with our over 45 different validators, getting feedback from them as well. Uh, and they've been helping us support uh, and tweak things on mainnet as well as testnet and ETH global chains. You know, we just came out of ETH global hackathon event uh, a few weeks ago. So the team's been really busy, uh, but we didn't want to put a pause on giving community updates. So we hope that this video is informative and gets people thinking, you know, how Scale Network is Ethereum native. It's built with Ethereum technology. It uses a lot of security, uh, pool, you know, uh, pooled security mechanisms, which is all based on Ethereum mainnet. Scale Manager, which orchestrates the entirety of the scale network and the community is, you know, a set of smart contracts that's based on Ethereum. Um, and as well, it's a, it's, it's a multi-chain network. So, um, you know, we have hundreds of validator nodes and they can support even hundreds of scale chains of different sizes. So, Again, we've already have multiple skill chains right now live on mainnet. So I'm um, very excited uh, to provide these updates for you and, and thanks for being patient. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Um, lots to be seen in the next few days. So speak again soon. Bye. Cheers.